Next one, um, again, hopefully you guys recognize this as a, as a quadratic. So I'm just going to graph both of them and then restrict them. So x squared minus 1 is just a quadratic that looks something like this. right? Remember, the minus 1 is not shifting it to the right one. It's shifting it down because the minus is outside of um, the function. And then we have x plus 1, which is just a standard line. So we're going up 1, and then it's an up 1 over 1. So that's a rough sketch of the graphs. Now let's go ahead and look at the restrictions. So the restrictions are at um, negative 1. So at negative 1, this function is true. So now I'm not sure if I graph this correctly or the best ability, but let's check out what should negative 1 be for this function. So negative 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, right? So this function is true right there. So that means the rest of the function is not defined. Does everybody see what I did, how I just erased the rest of that function? Because this function, this quadratic, is only defined for x values that are less than negative 1. This function is only defined for x values that are greater than negative 1. Well, at negative 1, what do I have? 0, right? So anything to the right here is going to be defined, except for at negative 1. However, I don't want to use an open hole because I already have it defined by the other function. So all I need to do here is just race. So it looks like a weird little function, but is it continuous? Yes. So remember, guys, just because it's a piecewise function doesn't mean, oh, piecewise function it can't be, can't be continuous. No. You can have them meet.